Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing and I'm Mike D. Well today we're going to do another catch and cook. And today we're going to be cooking a bluefish. I know this isn't going to be a trash fish or treasure because if you cook bluefish fresh and you do it this way, it is definitely not trash. It's actually very good and when I catch a real nice sized bluefish like I did the other day, that's one of the things I like to do with them is bake them in the oven with Italian salad dressing. They're outstanding. So real quick guys, check out this clip of me catching this uh, bluefish the other day when I was trolling one of the no wake zones. Decent bluefish, and then I will see you guys at the cleaning table, and I'll see y'all in the kitchen. Guys, well, I'm hooked up. Is that a ladyfish? I've been trolling like maybe a minute. It's starting to rain a little bit. And I got something. That's a nice old lady. That's a big old blue fish. Look at that sucker. It's a nice blue. All right, we'll keep him. A nice blue fish. Good eating size blue. Get him in here. All right. All right. Okay, here's where the, you gotta be careful with these things. All right, nice blue fish. All right, come on, open up, buddy. Let me get that thing out of there for you. Guys, nice blue. Nice little blue. Ooh. Just for giggles, let's see how big he is. He's 17 inches at the fork. Nice size bluefish, guys. All right, guys, I got my nice little bluefish here. I'm just going to clean it real quick. Now, I really think bluefish is probably one of the easiest fish to clean. Like that, just flip it over, keep some pressure, just ride that knife right along those backbones, come right off. And in my opinion, the key to getting a really good uh, bluefish fillet is keeping them really cold. Really, really cold. Skin it real quick. Go. Go ahead and fill that out. Any pin bones. There we go. There we go, guys. There's a nice fillet. Got a little bit of dark meat on it, but when they're fresh like this, it doesn't really hurt it. And I'm going to show you a trick, which I personally think is the best way to cook uh, bluefish. If you're not going to smoke them, use them in fish dip. This is the only other way that I will eat a bluefish. I mean, I have done it teriyaki style, and that's pretty good. I do like it, but what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to bake it in the oven with some Italian salad dressing. It is outstanding, but it's only really good, in my opinion, when they're really fresh. All right, guys, I'll see y'all in the kitchen. All right, guys, I got my bluefish here, my two little bluefish fillets. And this is going to be really simple. All we're going to do is going to add some Zesty Italian. This is just a generic brand that we get at Aldi's. We pour a little bit in there. About like that. 
and we're just going to add some Parmesan cheese, whichever Parmesan cheese you like. And if you have a tomato, you can slice the tomato and put it in there. Also, you can slice some onions and put it in there. But what we're going to do is now we're going to cover it with some, some aluminum foil, tin foil, whatever you like to call it. And we're going to put it in the oven at 375 degrees for about 25 minutes. And that's it. Alright guys, I got my bluefish out of the oven. Make sure it's done. Got my fish tester right here. Oh, it's done. Nice and done. Alright, let's get this plated up and give it a try. Alright guys, let's get this out real quick. Get that out. Anyway, we can do it, I guess. We'll do it that way. Alright. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Not too bad. Alright, we'll go give this a shot. Alright, Jetty Rockers. Well, here I am. I got my blue fish right there. Go ahead and take a bite of it. That's what it looks like. Nice. Alright, here we go. Man. There is nothing wrong with that at all. You know, a lot of people say they don't like bluefish, but if you try it this way fresh, I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. Take one more bite. Look at that, guys. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, you can cut the dark meat out if you don't like the dark meat. But in my opinion, cooked fresh like this, it does not bother me at all. It's not too overpowering. It's actually pretty good. Now, if you keep it for a couple of days or you freeze it, unless you're smoking it and using it in fish dip, I don't usually like them. But fresh, they're a really good fish, guys. Well, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys, you know, see how I did this here and go give it a shot because they're actually pretty good. They're really good. They get a bad rap. They really do. Well, guys, I get to see you all again on the water. Tight lines, y'all. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead over there and hit that subscribe button. And I want to appreciate, thank each and every one of you all. And I appreciate you guys very much for subscribing to my channel. Check you later, Jay Rockers. Hey Jerry Rockers, thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jetty Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. Well, check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers.